Welcome back, I'm Dave Menza with Vintage King. Now you've heard me talk about control voltage or CV a few times in these last few videos. But now it's time we jump a little bit deeper into this whole thing. Control voltage or CV is the most important concept to understand in modular synthesis. And often the most confusing as well. CV is what drives all modular synth patches. It controls parameters and gives modular synthesizers its flexibility. Traditionally, CV generators can be triggers, gates, envelope generators, LFOs, sequencers, and random voltage generators. For example, CV from sequencers can change pitch on a VCO, as we've demonstrated. Envelope generators outputs control VCA amplitude. LFO outputs will modulate filters and add vibrato to an oscillator's pitch. One great thing about the Make Noise Shared system is that there is a CV bus, which creates a world of patching flexibility right here in the center of the system. You can make complicated patches much more accessible and control multiple parameters with single CV sources. The CV bus displays the voltage types and polarities of several types of CV. Red is a gate signal, either full level or zero. Indicating yellow is a unipolar cycle from the function moving up and down in the positive range. Orange is stepped random voltage from the woggle bug also a positive only voltage. Green is our VCO output signal and it moves from positive to negative. Let's talk a little bit about how CV works in general. The make noise system uses CV or control voltage for a number of purposes. CV can be used to adjust parameters where the control panel allows CV input. You can turn a knob by hand or you can control it using CV. If you set a base value of modulation on the control panel, adding any CV amount will be in addition to that base value. The panel control is essentially setting a base value in which the modulation starts. A positive cycle will make the value go up and back to the base value set by the panel control. And a negative cycle, or inverted output from the function, will make the setting go down from the base value set by the panel control. A function cycle is unipolar. It will only cycle in negative or in positive territory. A VCO, on the other hand, is bipolar and goes alternately positive and negative. The input attenuator does not change the direction or polarity of modulation, just the depth, which is useful for dialing in how powerful you want the modulation to be. Most CV inputs on the make noise shared system have both attenuators on the fold control and attenuverters on the pitch control. However, some do not have either. For example, the absorb control on the herb verb. Another type of CV input on the shared system is the combo knob on the Optimix. This knob works as a panel control until there is a cable in the jack, at which point the base setting becomes zero and the knob becomes an input attenuator. Here we have the audio going through channel 1 and the control knob setting its amplitude. But with the cable in the jack, the amplitude goes to zero until we put a positive voltage from the function in. And now we are setting the depth of modulation with the combo knob. On the maths, channel 2 and 3 are also combo knobs and can be used as attenuverters or offsets depending on whether there's a cable in the jack. CV opens a whole world of possibilities. 
This is just the start of how to use it. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on modular synths and other awesome gear.